Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and good day guys. We are playing Minecraft specifically. We are looking at our Minecraft town and we're checking out some of the new uh, areas of it. But before we get anywhere guys, I want to give you guys a quick heads up. Uh, Razor has some deals going on this week where you guys get some free stuff when you buy stuff. So guys, go ahead, check out the link down below. We'll definitely make sure you guys get that stuff and make sure you guys get you hooked up with that. So we'll, uh, go ahead and get back to the video. So guys, uh, we're here in the Minecraft town. We have to do uh, a couple things over the next couple of videos. The first thing is, uh, one of the things we have to do is clean up the town. It looks a little raggedy. As you guys can see, we've done a couple minor things, such as cutting down the well. Um, we cleared out a house over here, as you guys can see. We'll clean that stuff up over there. But um, we're going to give you a quick little tour before we go in and work on the barn. And, and then we have our other stuff, and I'll show you guys what's planned for the next couple weeks. Uh, you can see here that we've got our wheat farm. Basically, you pull this, water flows down, you get a bunch of seeds. It's fantastic. It's three levels. And there you guys go. It's just a manual farm, nothing crazy. It's not a micro farm or anything. Then we've got the barn that you guys saw on the last episode that we built. It looks fantastic. We've definitely got some uh, some colored sheepies now, and we have all kinds of cows and a little bit of cocoa beans. And our one little horse buddy in here. Uh, it's fantastic. So we're going to be working in that specifically today. Um, the other thing is, is we've got our little aquarium tank that I built. Uh, it was just something I just built just because why not? Um, you guys can see you got aquarium, you got some kelp in there, um, and it works fantastic. We have a couple fish in there. There's one of them right there. Hello, fishy. Uh, and then we've got over here the start of our next build. Uh, I'm going to kind of just show you guys it really quick and, and kind of leave it there at that. Um, you can see this is the start of our next build. This was a giant chasm. If you remember from some of the other videos, it's been filled in. We've got water going, and we're going to start working on it. We have put a couple fish in there. You can see we got some seaweed in there. It's looking fantastic. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start working on that build uh, in a couple episodes. But first things first is the next two things we're going to be doing specifically is working inside the barn, getting uh, storage built in here, having some real storage stuff going on and that kind of stuff. And then the second thing is this cleaning up this town and putting down some specific areas for our villagers because we have a bunch of we've got one here we've got one over here there's villagers everywhere we've got about five i think or six um they're all buried inside of things and move around you can see there's one in here so um that's really going to be it for the town you guys can see there's some basic stuff in here and then we're just going to go ahead uh, and continue to build up this town a little bit make it a little bit nicer and then we're going to go ahead and get the barn up and running and make it working well so let's go ahead jump into the barn first and start making stuff specifically what we're going to be looking at is the second and third floor so the first floor we're not sure if we're going to do anything different to it we've got all of our sheepies and stuff down here second floor is going to be our storage possibly uh, so we can run all of our storage stuff right here. We can run all of our boxes right along here. Not have to worry about it. It'll be fantastic. It'll look good. And we can put storages on the other side, label them. It'll look fine. We can do a couple layers if we have to of the storages because they're four high. So we can do one, two. And then the third floor is going to be basically, I'm going to build three rooms in here uh, for each one of us where we can have our own little separate room with some special boxes and stuff and beds and things. And we can all just have our area in here for our special stuff and armor stands and all that kind of fun stuff so really uh the barn is becoming a, a whole thing as you can hear the cows below us just trampling around uh so that's what we're going to do and let's go ahead and jump into it we're definitely going to be using some a lot of dark wood on this one to cut out the stuff and make it happen let's go ahead and jump into our little storage container of stuff grab some fences some doors some planks we're definitely gonna have to get some acadia doors going also because I think this will look good on here, but let's go ahead and get some of this storage down first, specifically, because I really need to get some of that started, and it's killing me not having any storage at all. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and place these down, and how we're going to place them is a simple one-two on the sides like this. It'll look like that, and then technically what we could do is place a second one up on top, kind of like that, and we could place them like that. So then how we're going to do that is you could technically just run like this, and just continue to place them on here simply uh, but the problem is is when you place them like that as you guys can see you can't really place them very simple and easy so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to put up some dirt plots specifically on this top row on each one so I can place them off the top or you can just run a dirt plot straight across here but let's go ahead and get these down first and get all these bricks down and we can always expand our stuff later to improve on what we're doing, um, I need some light down here, so let's just go ahead and place this right here for now. We should be good on light for in general, but we've got what we need here, so 
just gonna go ahead and pop some of these up keep our vision going maybe we'll leave the windows open for now just so they look cool so you can go out and look at them even though it's a storage room the reason I'm not placing them under here is you can't open your chests if they're underneath a block and then it would ruin the kind of the roof look of this thing so we can't really do that so let's go ahead and place that back down there keep placing these blocks down as you guys see all right so we are oh what were we trapped on that was weird couldn't go back but yet we couldn't go forward so you guys can see that was 54 blocks just right there for storage we have a ton of it i meant to not do this here so we're gonna have to go ahead and pull these babies up um, but I'm going to go ahead and continue placing storages down. I'm going to get a couple rows of storage down and get the bottom storages. We'll get the signs placed down and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and do that here in a minute. <clears throat> all right, guys. Well, welcome back. So we have completed our chests. I had to change them up a little bit. Um, I was going to do the dirt thing. However, I forgot that, that there's going to be a slight problem with opening the chests up there. So I decided to just go one level. We can add a second level later if we want to. We can just make some float chests, which is fine. We'll make those work too, as I said. But we'll uh, go ahead and do that first. But the first thing I want to do is actually add a little bit of customization to this. Um, I kind of want to turn this more into like alleys here. As you can see, we want to make these where they have <clears throat> the ability to um, kind of you have to go down certain specific areas and make it look better. So as you can see here like this. Um, so what I'm going to do is just drop all these fences down really quick. It'll give us a nice little simple look, uh, but it'll be efficient for what we need it to be. Uh, we might even put some gates down. I think that might look kind of cool too, is to put some gates down or even put like uh, double layered fencing we can do too. So let's take a look what that looks like too. On here, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab our dirt piles and see if we can grab those as I just jump there. Um, and then we'll go ahead and grab that and put that there. And then we can put one there and put one there and put one there. And let's see what that looks like. I'm not opposed to it. I think it might look good just to kind of make a, a second area. Um, so I think I am going to actually do this, run these all the way across here like this, make it a fenced in area uh, so it looks a little bit uh, defined, I think would be the right word to use here. So we're just going to go ahead and place all these down really quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all this fencing up, place it down, uh, break out all the differences on that. So it looks more of a uh, caged in storage area, so you have to go inside it to do it. Um, but we'll just go ahead and do that really quick, and we'll place down some new torches and place them, since we're going to need to place those torches um, and, and put them on here. Um, we'll have to figure out something for that, whether it's chandeliers or something on the inside or, or something of that nature. So we'll figure those out in a minute, and um, we'll see how it looks, maybe even do something like that. So we'll see you guys back here in a minute once I've uh, reorganized my thoughts here on this and uh, figured out how I want to run this. We can make it look more like a fireplace. There we go. Maybe what we'll do... Pull these up. Or down. One, two. Place it there. Place it there. And we'll just place this all the way up to the top. go and we're gonna place a mantle so to do that we're gonna put down some more stone slabs but I know I need the uh, two three stone slabs um, in order to do that what I want to do is place them like this right I'm gonna go ahead and place this up here Just good old-fashioned dirt to cheat the system We go and we got a mantle, our fireplace. There you go. Looks more like a fireplace to me. Nice big fireplace too. Looks cool. Who knew we'd have a fireplace up here, right? <laughs> um, we need to make some source stone slabs actually. Um, reason is I want to put a couple more armor stands down. Um, because I think armor stands are cool, so. Got one, two. That should be enough, right? Yeah, two more armor stands should be fine. I'm gonna put the raw beef down. And I'm thinking, put one here, the other one in this corner. 
So there we go. So there's another couple armor stands. You can see we've got our crafting chest over there, which is fine. There's our bed that we can lay in. We got our chandelier working. I do want to make a stone button or two. Would love to have it where. So give it a little more of a an appealed look. Definitely need some more picture frames here on stuff. Um, hey guys, welcome back. So I have finished everything in the barn, so now we're just going to go ahead, tour the place, check it out. Um, I guess guys can see some quick little stuff of me working in the areas, but you guys can see we've moved our enchanting table down to the first floor. You can see we've got Hank over there in that corner. Our cows are down here. Sheep are down here still. Um, our shears have moved over here. We're going to run upstairs, and you guys can see we now have our huge storage room. With the ability to expand if we needed to to another level if we had to um but we don't have to right now because it's got pretty much a lot of the things we don't need we still have some open slots here for stuff on um, this back wall we've got pretty much our forge and crafting area as you can see we've got our anvils we've got our crafting tables and a bunch of forges for stuff and all of our different storage areas here with a little nice little torch chandeliers going on here and then we've got Upstairs, which is now looking fantastic here. You guys can see there's different rooms. I want to shut that really quick. You can see everyone's got their own room. Panda's room, Eagle's room, my room right there. So we're going to go ahead. Eagle's done nothing in his room. He's just got torches in it because he hasn't been on recently. Then we got Panda over here. Panda's got nothing in his room. Close that one up. But I have done work in my room, as you guys saw. Let's just go ahead and pop in here. I've put up some fun little stuff on here. You can see there's the entrance. We've got an armor stand. I haven't put any armor on that yet. Uh, you can see the crafting table in the corner, armor stand there, some torches looking nice out there. We got our bed, our more armor, two little storage chests, and our fireplace with our little nice chandelier here. Uh, so, but that's going to do it though, guys, for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video overall. And I think it's uh, a lot of fun to build this stuff and we continue building it. Uh, and we'll be working on the giant tree next, which I'm really excited for. Um, but that's really it. As I said, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the uh, channel down below. You guys can see that link right down here below where I'm looking right now. Make sure you guys give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you want, of course. But as always, have a fantastic day. And we'll see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.